WCNC Charlotte's and Dira Skiba continuing our team coverage from outside the stadium there. But the crowd of fans is growing and Dira, those players getting ready to practice on their home turf, but they will soon be practicing at a world class facility in Rock Hill. That's right, and let me tell you, this rain is not keeping fans away. As you can see, there is a nice crowd growing out here, and a lot of people are excited, but let me tell you, there are excited things happening just down the street and across the state line in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Two years after South Carolina's Senate passed the Carolina Panthers bill, creating incentives to move the Panthers team headquarters to Rock Hill, there is now tangible proof of the project on a 240 acre site adjacent to I-77. Gosh, it's, I mean, it's, it's gl glorious for us to be able to witness all of this. The changes can be seen from I-77. The land has been cleared and the foundation is being poured. South Carolina State Representative Gary Simrel was part of the team that helped bring the major project to Rock Hill. He says construction slowed down during the pandemic, but things have since picked up significantly. Phase one is now expected to be complete in 2023. To date, we've issued almost a thousand badges, which are mm -hmm. um, workers that have been cleared for uh, to work on site. They've been part of a contractor. In a recent conversation with Rock Hill Mayor John Geddes, Carolina Panthers VP Mark Hart says the project also slowed down because of hard rock that builders hit when laying the foundation. Blue granite, I think it is a mm. very hard uh, rock. Uh, that slowed us down and uh, we've created a big, almost mountain of stone out there. Mm -hmm. um, but we've gotten through it. We've got uh, the foundations are uh, you know, on their way to completion. We've got a lot of concrete poured. Hart says there's an emphasis to hire as many local contractors for the project as possible, with a strong push to support minority and women-owned businesses. Now that project will include so much more than just that training facility and headquarters. We're talking entertainment, retail space, and even a hospital. But we have to be patient for all of that. It'll take years, and for now, we're going to enjoy exciting events such as this one. For now, in Uptown, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Indira, thank you.